Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another informed player review with me, your boy FIFA Wonder HD. And as you can see, guys, this week we'll be looking at the informed Jesse Lingard card out a few weeks ago, but still a really good card, nevertheless. But before we get into the review, I'd like to give a massive shout out to myfootcoins.com. Please go check them out, their link will be in the description below. So, inform Jesse Lingard and his left wing 64 rated bronze card. What did I feel? Well, I was really impressed. You know, uh, I built a team around this card, solely around this card, and it was amazing. I've never really bothered playing with bronze cards before, you know, bronze players. and. I was really impressed. It's such a fun uh, sort of experience. I really uh, recommend going out and building a team like this if you haven't done already. But the card itself, well, his finishing obviously is where I should start. It's his highest in-game stat that he has, really sort of of note, other than sort of like stamina and balance and things like that, you know. But his finishing was just incredible. 81 rated on a bronze card is insane. You know, his pace is pretty good too. You know, don't be uh, sort of put off by his 72 on the card because his acceleration is 78. So he does get away quite quick. And if you play him at sort of left wing or left forward, you know, you're not really going to notice that uh, being a problem at all. I wouldn't really recommend playing him at left midfield. I don't think you're really going to get the best out of the card. You want him using that good sort of acceleration and that finishing in the right sort of areas. So you want him higher up the pitch. As you can see in these clips, he scored me an awful lot of goals. You know, that sort of finishing against bronze keepers is just going to result in goal after goal after goal. And his sort of, you know, good weak foot, his decent skills, his decent pace. You know, his dribbling felt a lot higher than 68 as well. So, you know, you're going to get past people with ease. Played a fair few assists for Matt Green, who is also an incredible bronze player. I really do recommend uh, putting them two together because they will just cause absolute devastation. As you could see there, uh, Jesse Lingard setting up Matt Green for a nice goal. And that was basically the story of uh, Lingard and this team. Them two just absolutely destroyed it. Lingard in particular with some amazing goals, some great finishes, really tidy finishes and, and some good shots. Obviously missed that one there, but overall his play was just fantastic. And I uh, was really, really pleased with him. His positioning, I always felt that he was in the right sort of positions to pick the ball up and he always made runs just like that. You know, he's always on the shoulder of the last defender, trying to get in behind. And that's exactly what I want from a player. I want him to be making the runs, not from wanting the ball in front of the defenders where he's got a lot of work to do. I want to be slipping him in so I can use that great finishing. And that's what Lingard did time and time again. Again, he's passing, like I sort of mentioned earlier. Very, very solid. You know, close range passing. Very neat and tidy. Put, uh, put a few decent crosses in as well, which uh, is always quite nice, especially with the amount of headed goals you're going to score in this game. He's got a three-star weak foot and three-star skills, which you know is pretty decent as well. And he's only going for around sort of 25k on Xbox, about 20 on PS3. I think those prices pretty much do carry over to the next-gen consoles, so you know those prices are pretty accurate there. And you know for that sort of coinage. It's not bad at all, really. You know, you're getting a really good player. If you do play with bronze players, I'd highly recommend him, especially if you're building a championship sort of bronze team. There are some really good bronze players in that league, and uh, he would fit into your team very, very well. I used a 4-3-3 formation, and it just worked a treat. Like I said, he scored a lot of goals and got me a lot of assists. His work rates, medium, medium. I think that's pretty decent, really, for the sort of position that he plays. I felt like his attacking work rate was quite high in, in all honesty. I was quite surprised when I looked and found it was medium because he really did, you know, sort of stick on the shoulder and make some good runs off the defenders. And uh, it just allowed him to score, like I said, time and time again. He doesn't have any traits, but in the Bronze League, you know, you know, playing in that sort of uh, environment, I don't really think it matters, to be honest. Because, the, like I said, the goalkeepers he's going to come up against aren't going to be particularly that great. So things like the finesse shot, long shots, he's going to score those as well, just down to his high finishing. And, uh, yeah, so overall, I definitely sort of highly recommend going out and buying him. Like I said, playing with Matt Green because I really think them two work so well together. They get a really good chemistry link, obviously, as well. 
His uh, total stats there, you can see on the on the right hand side, just quickly before I finish off, is uh, 373, which I think you know for a bronze player is pretty decent. You know some of the key uh, outstanding stats that he has: 72 ball control. I think you know is very decent uh, for um, a bronze player. Very good indeed. You've also got the 81 finishing, as I mentioned earlier. 73 short passing is very good. 78 agility, 78 acceleration, 70 sprint speed. All very good stats there as well. 80 penalties, 86 balance. He only has 58 strength, but the balance and the agility and the sort of dribbling, you know, just mean that he is quite hard to knock off the ball, to be honest. You know, unless you've got a real big bruise in centre back, he is going to dance round them, as you've seen in some of the clips, where he has just made them look fools. He's really, you know, got in great positions, danced past people and, and scored the goal. But, you know, if you like I said, if you have got a, a sort of bigger centre-back, you may find him get pushed off now and then. But I would say nine times out of ten, he's just going to dance past them easily. The long shots uh, is a con. You know, it's not fantastic. But, like I said earlier, against bron bronze keepers, he's probably not going to have too much of an issue. Free kicks and heading isn't that great. But, you know, these are really sort of picking at straws. All of the probes there on the uh, left-hand side are why this card is so fantastic and why I had to give him 9 out of 10. Really recommend playing him at left wing or left forward because that is where you're going to take advantage of that amazing finishing, decent dribbling and good pace. You know, as I mentioned earlier as well, another pro, his positioning. Really, really enjoyed that, uh, how much he just sort of got into good areas. So a really good plus combined with his finishing. Again, dribbling, his pace, his passing, his three-star skills and three-star weak foot, I found pretty good as well. And he was relatively cheap, so I think all in all, just makes a really great player. Obviously not perfect, could do with a bit more pace, maybe slightly better dribbling to push him into that sort of 10 out of 10 category. But 9 out of 10 is very good indeed, especially for a bronze player who would fit well into most silver teams too. So I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Please hit like, subscribe, and peace.